Hi, this is Vic with Loving RV Life, and today I'm going to be telling you about how I saved over 200 pounds in useful payload capacity of my tow vehicle, as well as saved over a thousand dollars. I didn't even have to leave my family at home to do it. <laughs> but anyway, if you're thinking about getting a tow vehicle or a fifth wheel or both, especially a short bed, I think you're going to want to see this. So today we're going to be talking about how I saved over 200 pounds in useful payload capacity on my pickup truck and how I saved over a thousand dollars by doing it. Uh, first, I would like to say thank you for being here and joining me today. Um, I want to say specifically that I am not a professional. I am an RVer just like most of you are who has gone out and did my research and I have my experiences that I can account for. Um, Basically, uh, I'd like to tell you about my tow vehicle. I have a 2016 Ford F-250 crew cab pickup. It is a 6.7 diesel and it is also 4x4 and it is a short bed truck. Uh, my fifth wheel is a 37 foot 2013 Heartland Sundance and the model number is a 3270 RES and the maximum weight of that rig is going to be about 13,800 pounds and that is the uh, uh, my system that I'm working with. One of the real deciding factors on if you're going to need a slider hitch or not is going to be the shape of the front cap of your fifth wheel. If your front cap is squared off and has corners you're most likely going to need a slider hitch for that. But if your front cap has been rounded and specially shaped for a short bed that's gonna, those corners being knocked out of there are gonna allow you to make tighter turns with your short bed pickup. And so in most cases, you won't need a slider uh, in that situation. Uh, it's unless your pin box is short and it pulls the cap closer to the cab, then there's a possibility you may need it. Um, looking at fifth wheel hitches, if you need a slider hitch, I looked at some of the most popular ones. Uh, the first hitch I pulled up was a B&W Companion Hitch, which uh, was a very popular one. It scored five stars on reviews. Uh, the weight of that slider hitch for the B&W Companion was 212 for the slider and 75 pounds for the coupler. That's a total of 278 pounds. I'm sorry, 288 pounds. And so uh, that was going to be a little bit too heavy for me to handle by myself. The next hitch I pulled up was a Kirk fifth wheel slider. Um, it also weighed 170 pounds for the roller and 108 pounds for the hitch for a total of 278 pounds. Uh, the price on that one was $1,360 and I'm sorry the price on the B&W was $1,600. Uh, the third hitch I pulled up was a wreath fifth wheel slider. It was a 20k hitch also. It sold for $1,539 and it weighed 160 pounds. That was the lightest hitch other than the one that I purchased. The one that I purchased was a Pull Right Super Light 20K hitch. Uh, had a single point attachment which connects to the goose ball. It weighed 52 pounds lift weight. If you add the adapter that goes on the pin box, that's an extra 12 pounds. So it would be 64 pounds total. And the price of that was right at $500. So you can see we're over $1,000 cheaper than any of the other hitches that are out there right now. Um, I could place it in the truck, put four pins in, and I'm hooked up and ready to hook my fifth wheel up. Uh, the fifth wheel has an adapter unit that goes on it. It takes two bolts that attach to the pin box and then four sm small bolts that stabilize the adapter to the pin box itself. Um, and then you have the option of placing the ball in front of the pin or behind the pin. So you can adjust uh, how your fifth wheel rides in the back of your truck, how close it is or how far it is. The hitch in the truck adjusts as well. You have three settings for uh, up and down, and then you have forward and back setting as well. 
you have a total of eight inches of movement that you can move that hitch forward and back so that you can determine how it rides best in your rig. Um, this hitch only costs five hundred dollars right around that area um, I think I paid about 520 for it uh, it may be less now in fact I, I believe I've seen them for under five hundred dollars on uh, the internet and uh, I have, don't have a single complaint about this hitch it is easy to see when I'm hooking up it has a funnel so I don't have to be perfect and the ball will slide right down and seat inside the hitch and it's easy to lock down and it's easy to drive off and go quick and easy and light it weighs 52 pounds the adapter on the fifth wheel weighs about 10 or 12 so we'll go ahead and add that on let's say 62 pounds or 64 pounds but we're still up to 200 pounds lighter than or more than 200 pounds than some of those hitches out there so I know 200 pounds may not sound very much in a tow rig but 200 pounds is my generator and 20 gallons of gas or 200 pounds is 30 more gallons of diesel in my auxiliary tank or 25 gallons of spare water if I'm going boondocking or three more batteries in the front of my RV to keep it going 200 pounds can get you a lot of you know thing even an extra person in your truck so 200 pounds may not sound like very much when you look at the overall capacity of your pickup truck but you can do a lot of thing with that 200 pounds you know and not to mention i saved over a thousand dollars from the 1600 dollars hitch you know a thousand dollars will buy me a lot of diesel fuel so utilizing my hitch 52 pound hitch 20k rated capacity and my heartland sundance camper with a Pacific front cap shaped for a short bed truck I can do an 88 degree turn and not worry about contacting the only disclaimer I would like to say is that if you have that hitch in the close setting like I do on my truck there's a possibility of contact if your fifth wheel is going up an incline while you're backing it in that's going to bring the cap forward and it may possibly contact depending on the the steepness of that incline so that's something you want to watch for if you push it a little bit further back three or more inches which I've had my truck there as well um, I don't believe there's going to be any you have to be a pretty steep incline to make any type of contact at that point so uh, considering the hitches that were on the market considering everybody's recommendations that I needed a slider hitch I've been pulling over two years and over 5,000 miles I have never had a pull or park such a hard angle when I'm putting my fifth wheel in but the possibility is there and I know I can do it if I have to do that so uh, every truck and trailer combination is going to be different but I wanted to provide you my experience so that way when you're looking for your perfect rig and your perfect tow vehicle uh, you can take all of those things into account and we'll be able to come up with a nice and successful combination for your rig as well um, I really want to thank you for joining me today on Loving RV Life. I hope this information was useful for you in your search for your vehicle. And if you like it, please hit the like button and please subscribe. And uh, hit that bell notification as well. We've got some more great videos coming out and informational videos. And you'll be notified as soon as we release them. Uh, you have a great day. Thank you.